Hi guys, as you can tell by the title, today is gonna be, I have stuff all over my hands. Today's gonna be a large summer haul. Now I have everything in this cooler because this was a free gift that I got from Ulta. I also want to say thank you to those of you, my friends who are watching. I don't even have to name you, you know who you are. Uh, I received a good amount of Sephora gift cards for my birthday and I definitely was not expecting that, but that just like warms my heart forever. You guys know, um, I'm just so appreciative. So thank you to you guys who, uh, you know, decide to shower me with a little bit of makeup on my birthday. You can't go wrong with that. I also want to say that the majority of things I bought online and I use Ebates, I will leave my link down below. It's always there. Uh, if you sign up through my link, you get $10 and I believe I get five. I use Ebates for everything. When I made my large four purchase, I believe I got who like almost $20 cash back. So every quarter I get an Ebates check and it's enough to go shopping at Sephora. So definitely check out Ebates. It's not a scam, it's real. I use it all the time and I love it. So let's get into the haul. Okay, so I'm just gonna pull out of this tote and when we get to the items from Ulta, I'll talk about why everything is in a cooler. <laughs> so uh, some of these things I actually got from my meetup, which was last month. Yeah, but I didn't really do like a haul and in case you didn't see that video, I'm just gonna include everything in here. So the first thing, <laughs> the first thing that I got uh, are the Shiseido Facial Cotton. These are a staple for me. The last time I actually bought these was the November Sephora sale. Uh, I just adore these so much. Uh, they don't leave like cotton on your eyelid. They're pretty large so you can even cut them in half. They come with I believe 165 yes. And I love them. They are a little pricey but it's a luxury item so it's a luxury, you don't need it. The next thing I have is this Jack Black lip balm. I purchased this from Ulta. Uh, you guys know this is my holy grail lip balm. It is the only lip balm that works for me because I have really dry lips. And this is actually from a men's skincare line, but I love it. It's so hydrating. It has the SPF 25, which is good as well. And I just adore this during all seasons. I have to have it always. Okay, then I have this little thing, which is so odd. Um, but this is by the brand Anna Martina Franco, and I got this from Ulta. It was in the clearance section. I figured I could keep this on my vanity to keep like things I want to use for the next day in. I have an obsession with like cute little trinkets, almost to the point where it's hoarding tendencies. Um, I just buy things because they're cute no matter if I'm going to use them or not, but it was on clearance and I liked it. So that's that. The next thing I have is also from Ulta. These are things I got in store though, so I won't talk about why I have the cooler just yet. This is the Artisan Bath Fizzy and Spearmint Eucalyptus. Uh, I've never actually tried a bath bomb, the same type of concept, and I don't take baths but I think I just wanted to try this uh, because a lot of you guys really like Lush. So I figured before I spend however much they are, I would try this and it has eight natural oils in it. Um, yeah, it's from the brand Fizz and Bubble, I believe. So yeah. Okay, so now let's get into the things I got from Ulta Online. Now, if you don't know, you probably do. Ulta changed their rewards program Ooh, probably over a year ago and I've been hoarding my points you guys know that I am a point hoarder at Sephora so I like to hold on to my points and I also like to buy things when they do like the four times or five times points I am a platinum member so I get those perks every once in a while so I had about $70 in Ulta cash kind of I don't know what you really call it and if you guys know anything about me and Mac oh dear Mac it's that I don't like spending my hard earn coins on them because of a collection that came out probably almost a decade ago that was just very racist and I decided I'm never going to spend my money on them so I figured this would be the perfect opportunity to buy the MAC Prep and Prime Fix Plus. Now the reason why I like this you're probably going to laugh it's not because this is an awesome product that you can't find in another line because you clearly could. I like the pump mechanism <laughs> it has this little 
switch thing and I like the scent of it. So that is the reason why I like MAC Fix Plus. I know that makes no sense, but I really do love Fix Plus. Let's use some now, shall we? Mm. Oh, it just smells like cucumber, water. Oh, I, I love Fix Plus, I adore it. Is it a necessity? No. Um, for me, I use it when I'm feeling a little dry or powdery after I apply my makeup. Uh, they have little travel size ones that you can keep in your bag, and now they have like a shimmery packaging, like, MAC is coming up in the world. Hmm, too bad I'm not spending my money on them. Now the second thing I got from Ulta is this fragrance. You guys know I always have to get a fragrance. I love fragrance. This is the Paco Rabanne Olympia. I first saw this when I was watching one of the Glam Twins videos, I believe. And then when I went to New York in February, I smelled this in Sephora. Oh my gosh, it smells so good. I'm gonna put this on now. It's like a, a sweet caramel scent. It's something that I think you could wear in the summer. I'm not supposed to do this, I know, it's such a habit. But I think it's something you can wear in the summer and the uh, winter. I just love it. It's sexy, it's sophisticated. It's just right up my alley. And then as a gift with purchase, I got this travel cooler, which would be awesome if I were to go on a picnic date in the park with my man who doesn't exist. So um, I guess I could take my dog since she's the only one who loves me like that. <laughs> Okay, now let's just get into the rest, which should be from Sephora. So I have this Ula Henriksen Walnut Transforming Walnut Scrub. Now I was actually introduced to this years ago when I was working at Sephora. My friend was telling me about this and I was so afraid to try it because when you hear a walnut scrub, you just think of like your skin being torn into little pieces, but it's totally not that bad. But I have used this twice, I use it today, and I will say that it is just about the same amount of exfoliation as in the two-in-one Ula Henriksen mask, the Sugar Glow one. Uh, the only thing is that this does not provide hydration where that one does. So I think this is going to be my new summer exfoliant. Uh, I really like it because it's very gritty and it's just awesome. I may do a review on it, I may not, but I'm loving this. And honestly, the reason why I picked this up over the Ula one that is like my holy grail is because I didn't want to spend $40 on an exfoliator. I'm being real. I didn't want to spend $40. I believe this was like $25, which is a little better for me. I haven't been spending a lot on makeup recently besides this um, because you guys know I am a part-time, well, I'm basically a minimalist now when it comes to makeup. I only buy stuff when there's a huge sale or my birthday or Christmas, so um, besides that, I've just been spending my money on other things, which you'll see in the haul next month. But uh, something that I got when I had the meetup last month was the, oh, I can't talk today, is the Estee Lauder Advanced Night Repair Synchronized Recovery Complex 2. And this is the one ounce version. I will do an updated review on this because I first tried this out years ago when I was working at Sephora. And I was a lot younger then, and now that my skin is kind of changing and I'm growing older, I feel like my skin needs different things. But you guys, if you're looking for an all-in-one nighttime serum, definitely try out the Estee Lauder one. Okay, then I have another fragrance. This is the Jo Malone. I should probably take it out so you can see it. The Jo Malone Peony and Blush Suede. Now it's so interesting because this fragrance has been on my list for a while and this is the one ounce version because I had a little insert in a magazine and I smelled it and I loved it but when I got it and I sprayed it on, it smells horrible on me. It just smells like a little old lady but not a sophisticated old lady, like an old lady who almost is on the border of smelling like body odor. It just does not work with my body chemistry. <laughs> That's one unfortunate thing about a lot of scents, especially the Gucci scents that are more fresh and floral. They just don't work well with me. So I am going to unfortunately return this. The next thing I have in here is my birthday gift from Sephora. This is the Caudalie Vino Source Cream Sorbet Moisturizer and the Vino Perfect Serum. So I will definitely use these and do a review on them because 
you know, a lot of people might choose to get this as their birthday gift from Sephora and Caudalie, 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 Caudalie. <laughs> is a brand that's often overlooked they do have a lot of nice products I know my mom used to use their skincare I'm not into it but that's just because I have brand preferences I will definitely try this out and give you guys a review this was one of the little uh, promotional codes so I got this I don't know how to pronounce this so excuse me if I'm wrong I believe it's called Atelier cologne and this is in the clementine california i actually smelled this at sephora when i went with my friend probably ooh, this was like before the sale in the springtime but this is a pretty nice size this is four milliliters and this smells so good you guys a nice citrusy just clementine fragrance straight up this will be great for just bopping around town or wearing at the beach or on vacation i definitely think when i'm done with this i will buy the full size version because this smells awesome and i believe i also got another sample of the clementine well it must not be with me so i got a couple other things um, I got this Smashbox B Legendary Liquid Metal. Now, I believe this is pretty much a mix between a lipstick and a lip gloss. It's kind of like a lipstick because it has high coverage, but it is glossy. I remember seeing people review these on YouTube, and when I got my gift cards for my birthday, I literally had to think, like, what do you want? Because now it's hard for me to buy things because I just think about what I need and not what I want. But baby you guys know i've really been into blue lately i just think blue looks nice with my skin tone and i know this probably looks very extreme but i will be wearing this this summer when i go out this is going to be everything this is the color iced out i'm gonna swatch it because oh look at that blue oh gosh i die and go to heaven whoo, and come back so i can wear this lip gloss again so i cannot wait to wear this and possibly do a tutorial and then i had to get another one of the bite beauty uh cream lip glosses in bronze pearl now i have one in peacock pearl which i will link that tutorial down below it's like the most pretty color it's so interesting so i wanted to get another one because i figured it's my birthday let me treat myself so this is bronze pearl and i actually got this one because it kind of gave me like a 90s vibe like it's kind of bronze and it's kind of neutral and like a nude for someone of color it's kind of striking but without being over the top so i definitely cannot wait to try this either and once again that's bronze pearl then you guys know i had to get another stila uh, magnificent metal glitter and glow liquid eyeshadow shadow this is in the color rose gold retro i love these things they are so amazing i say if you are not good with like either glitter or you're a beginner at makeup this is perfect if you want to shine this summer do so y'all see that oh i can't wait to put this on my lids oh that is just everything. I think that will complement my skin tone really well. So I might have to do a tutorial with that one as well. And I believe that is it. The rest of the items in here are samples. I have a sample of the Sephora Purifying and Mattifying Mask. I believe I've tried that before. I have a sample of the Tatcha Water Cream. I don't know how I feel about this brand. We'll talk about that in the anti-haul. And then I have this Prada Candy Gloss. But this is a fragrance. Okay, we'll try it. I'm not really a fan of Prada Candy, but maybe I'll like that. And I did get a sample, another sample of the Atelier. This is the Orange Sanguine. So, yeah, I'm excited to try that out. I believe that is everything I purchased. Oh, no. That's a mistake. There's more. <laughs> So you guys have already seen this video. If you haven't, I will link it down below. But I decided to pick up the NARS new liquid blush in the color Dolce Vita. You guys, if you are looking for a new blush, I highly encourage you to try these 
the formulation is so nice the lasting power is really nice especially if you have oily skin you know we're getting into the summer if you're traveling this is just perfect they have four colors right now orgasm torrid luster and dolce vita they are sold out right now on a lot of websites so i would check narscosmetics.com okay now i did get a new foundation as well this is the lancome taunt Idol ultra 24 hour makeup in the color 450n for neutral now if you've been watching me for a long time you will actually know that this is an old favorite of mine when i started my channel i was using this foundation and I stopped using it when I moved to New York because I got a little lighter but now that I'm back I'm like I need to be a bronze goddess and this foundation is everything I am going to do a re-review on it because like I said my skin's needs have changed since I am getting older and I like different things in my foundation and then the last thing I got I got this when I went to the meetup this is the Kat Von D Everlasting Liquid Lipstick in Roxy and if you'd like to see what this looks like I will link my lip swatch video down below for my summer lippies. This is everything guys. It is just so gorgeous. It's very striking. I will say that I had problems applying it the first time I got it. So my tip would be to apply a very thin layer all over your lips and let it dry completely to the fact where you can go like this and nothing comes off and then apply another thin layer. If you try to layer it without it drying completely when you swipe the lip wand on your lip it'll just take off the product and that was happening the first time I tried this and I was like you're probably going back to Sephora because I don't like having to work too hard to wear makeup but thankfully I figured out a way to make it work. So Oh, that is everything that I have to share in this Sephora haul. I will leave all the videos I spoke about down below. If you have any comments or questions, if you want a review on anything, leave that down below and I will see you in the next video. Bye!